one of the things that I haven't seen many people talking about in 5.6 is the brand new ray trace translucency mode that has been implemented. If you take a look at the post process volume under translucency, we now have three options. Option one is raster, which is the bog standard default translucency you're used to seeing, which has many issues in this scene. Option two, we now have legacy ray tracing, depreciated, which is how ray trace translucency worked pre 5.6. There was always a bunch of issues with this. For surfaces like this, you had to crank the max refraction ways way up to avoid any black areas that were causing significant performance issues. In addition, due to this mode essentially having its own ray traced scene, it wasn't tweakable and you would always end up with a lot of noise if you had soft shadowing or indirect lighting going on. Well, if your indirect lighting appeared at all in that scene, which it often didn't properly. The final issue as well with the depreciated old ray trace translucency is that it didn't write depth correctly even if you told it to in the material, which means it did not work correctly with depth of field. New in 5.6 is the third option here, ray traced, which is, as you can see, makes a huge difference to this scene. Number one, this uses Lumen's hit lighting, so it's all tied into the scene more, and uses data that's already there. Secondly, we have the ability to control the amount of direct and indirect hit events. As you can see, as I increase these, we get more layering and more interreflections with the indirect. Now also, you'll notice if I decrease these, we don't get black spots where we aren't tracing enough depth. This is because in this mode, when we have used when we've used the hit events or depth, it falls back to normal raster translucency, which fills any black spots and works really well. This means we can have nice looking ray trace refraction with a couple of layers, with full lumen support, with reflections and refractions, but with decent performance. The new ray trace translucency also writes depth correctly when you tell it to in the material. So you can actually get it to play nice with depth of field, which is a massive win for cinematics people like myself. As you can see with some of these test scenes that I whipped up over the last few months, which I, when I was testing this feature in UE5 main, it gives some utterly amazing results. And I'm really excited to see what people do with this and what I can do with this later on.